<laughs> Hello, everybody, and good morning. It is the 15th episode of Sunday Morning Musings. Today is the 5th of July. Hope you all had a good 4th. For those of you in the States, here in Europe, we enjoyed the Wimbledon finals yesterday. Uh, the Williams sisters did extremely well. Uh, Serena pulling off the win uh, in the singles women's event, and then them both, uh, Venus and Serena, winning their doubles match. Um, I thought it was interesting that Serena, whom you would have thought uh, would have been extremely strong after her win and just ebullient and you know fantastic smashing whatever actually it was Venus that had to pick up Serena's game uh, and play the role of the big sister so I thought that was cool uh, that they came out and today of course is Andy Roddick against Roger Federer uh, that's gonna be a tough match uh, for Andy uh, I think he's only beaten him twice so I'm gonna look forward to that um, just a few other things to do uh, today before then um, this last week was a really good week. I was out on the road traveling in Eastern Europe. I drove, well, it was like 3,400 kilometers, uh, and then net that is around 2,200 and some odd miles. So roughly the uh, distance from Norman, Oklahoma to Seattle, Washington, uh, that's around 2,100 miles. So this was slightly longer than that. But of course, if you drove to Seattle from Norman, you probably would want to get, <laughs> get back you know, after you visited the Space Needle and whatever else you do, if you're especially touristic. I would invite everyone who's never been to Seattle to go to the Great Northwest. It's one of the most beautiful parts of the country. Um, say Portland area, Seattle, and then on up into Vancouver. Um, I love living there. Uh, I miss it sometimes. It was wet and rainy for most of the year, but then you had these moments of spectacular brilliance and uh, I loved it, I loved it, and still do, and hope to get back. So uh, best regards and greetings to everybody there in Seattle, all my friends whom I haven't seen in some time, hope this finds you well also. Well, today's uh, thought or musing comes from The Atlantic. Uh, this is uh, talking about an article here. It's a 72 year study on what makes us happy. It's a longitudinal study. That means that it was started back some time ago by this wonderful uh, doctor uh, at Harvard. Um, the guy's name is George Valiant, and he set up this study and has followed it uh, low these many years, and it tracks about 268, if I'm not correct, uh, 268 men uh, from Harvard uh, that participated, and then it tracks uh, all throughout their lives uh, what's been going on with them, and what are the factors that have developed their lives and essentially equate to happiness? And here are just a couple tidbits that I took from it. And I think, you know, going back to uh, one of my earlier, earlier musings uh, about general, or what was that? GNH, which was in Burma, you know, they were talking about gross national happiness as a way to, to measure uh, things rather than gross national product. And um, this is kind of cool because this, this study is referred to quite a bit and I'm sure um, that people in Burma um, consulted these factors because this study is really well known. And it comes down to this. It was asked, uh, this is called the Grant Study, um, what have you learned from the Grant Study men? And Valiant's response, that the only thing that really matters in life are your relationships to other people. I think that's really uh, cool. It even says, you know, that there were some surprises. Cholesterol levels, for example, at age 50 had nothing to do with health. In old age, regular physical exercise in college uh, predicted late life mental health. So some interesting things uh, have been discovered in the study. And in this uh, edition of The Atlantic, it, it talks through uh, different cases. Um, and they're really interesting. A lot of famous men, even uh, President Kennedy, if you didn't know it, was one of these guys that was a member of it. So uh, a lot of it is, is um, secretive or confidential, so you don't really know who's in the study, but I guarantee you a lot of famous and very well-known men are in here. So it's interesting. Pick up a copy, um, glean through it, see what it, it uh, has, if anything, to offer you. Um, for me, it just confirms the fact that um, it is about people that you meet in life and and oftentimes your family, your friends, they're your major support group. And I think uh, us all being human, we go through our good times and our bad times. 
Um, but it's the relationships that we have through our life, I think, that really sustain us. So that's it from here. Um, I'm going to share with you a video about my travels this week. Uh, hopefully this is something interesting for you. I really enjoyed uh, the trip and all the different places that I saw and the people that I met. Uh, it's awfully, I would say it's awfully um, beneficial to me. Or you know, I really love it that I, that I get to go out and travel and, and meet so many people. It's very rewarding uh, for me and I find a lot of inspiration in it. So hopefully this inspires you and uh, take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. It is a beautiful day, summer's day, in the rhine ruhr region of Germany. We are south of Frankfurt, but north of Nuremberg. And we pulled off the road because of the heavy traffic. And would you look at this? We found this idyllic little place. <laughs> Actually, it's a fishing hall, Sport Angler Rhein. Schwara, no, Schwarzach am um, Main. So this is near the river Main. And would you look at this wonderful building? And next to it, so you hear these benches, so we're going to take our picnic. But it's a little fishing hole. And they've got all the pictures of the fish here. And let's see what the sign says. I don't know if I can read it. Uh, when you have an hour of luck, oh, I guess be thankful or something. But I'm going to translate that um, later. But oh, this is a wonderful little fishing area here. I'll take pictures of this later. So it's got this wonderful outlook here. I can't believe nobody's here. They must be working today or something. But then there's that funny fisherman guy there. It's an angler in the middle. Look at those birds, they're catching some fish. And of course we saw some little fish down here. Is my uh, navigation guide, uh, and he has taken me literally on a one lane bridge to the middle of nowhere in some cornfield. I, I don't even, I can't, you can barely call it a cornfield. I think it's kind of the middle of nowhere. Well, at least you got something to live off if you get stranded, yeah. <laughs> What's funny is watch how the suspension goes. It's like the people are shaking in the car, the car is shaking. Hopefully it would get like a good little bump in the road. It's like that, that car just kind of is a little bit all over the place. It's a Skoda 104 did you say? 105. 105. Maybe he thinks he can pass the truck. I think he's going to try to pass the truck. Do you think? Could be. Let's see if he, he's not let's really see if he does it. about his uh, power. Well, I wouldn't be either with six people in the back of my car and running it on, like, what is that, two cylinder? Yeah, could be. <laughs>